Welcome back everyone to part 4 of my let's play of Transformers War for Cybertron. This is Mechasan here and when we last left off we had just activated well half the Energon Bridge and now we're going for the other part. And if you can't even remember, uh, the way I ended my last review, um, review, my bad, let's play, I went on a little rant about Starscream. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, let me build off that. Starscream is as though it's depicted in like the novels. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty much more or less the same, only... Why can I say this? Uh, this is gonna sound very strange, people, but he was far more... Competent? Sounding? Yeah, that, that just feels so strange saying that, but... Yeah, he actually felt... He felt legitimate, like he could... Okay, I can sort of see how he could eventually... I mean, it's quite clear to Megatron and everyone that this guy wanted to become Prime. But he wasn't cowardly. He was more... He knew how to play the game in a way. And hell, at one point, uh, he actually... Openly... Tried to eliminate Megatron. But, of course, he got his... Rear... His... Rear plate handed to him. And, well... But Megatron had to keep him, of course, because... And this is more, this is, I like this reason far better. The reason why Megatron didn't kill him is because technically the Seekers are still follow Starscream. But he's still, yeah, he's still the commander and everything, so it's, If he did kill Starscream, then there's a possibility that the Seekers will turn on him and... Internal struggle and stuff, it will be very bad, so... He keeps him around. Frankly, I'll take that explanation over. I over w w wait. What did it? What did? Have they ever given an explanation as to why Starscream does not get his spark ripped out of his chamber by Megatron? I I, I, I don't think so. Hell, hell, give the uh, uh. Sorry, man. Uh, give Transformers Animated some credit though. At least they came up with a reason, and, or rather. Once Megatron found out and was able to, he eliminated Starscream. Repeatedly. Thank you, Matrix of Alt Park Fragment. Oh boy. Alright, snipe that guy. But yeah, like I said, he sounded more, he had more of a backbone in the novels. And I like that. And this is based on the novels, technically. Ah. Screw it. Just slag it. Give me on that turret. Nope! Oh, yeah! It's, uh, brother. Ugh. Attach. Oh, come on! That? Damn it. Hmm. It's one of those things where, like, even the Seekers... <laughs> His own man, I like how... Slipstream was, they said, we got bets placed on when Megatron will rip your head off. And yeah, it's quite clear that they also, there's mixed loyalties, like, one... Ah, oh boy. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry, people. I'm just... Not that good here. Talking, but like I was saying, loyalties are clearly split, split between the secret, between Starscream and Megatron, and... So Megatron has to keep Starscream around, even if, even though it's clear he wants to become Prime. Probably, probably, it's probably the same principle as um, why Beast Wars Megatron didn't kill, didn't kill either uh, Tarantulas or I don't know, ter Pterosaur as well. Like I can tolerate your treachery. But not your incompetence! I love that. Treachery requires the known stakes. Yeah! Oh, whoa! That's cool. I just. There's gotta be a limit. I agree the Secret Armada is useful, but. Star Scream is just a handful! I like how even the comics, Cobra Command, when they had a crossover, Cobra Command even thought so. That was funny. Again, for that. Nothing will stop Let me get that Energon cube over there. Go! Blast this. Hmm. 
That being said, of course, uh, Mega uh, Starscream was indeed a challenge in the comics. He he did pull his own weight, and he even, I think he was even a bit of a no, decent decent challenge for when Mega for when he fought Megatron. <laughs> Granted, it, it, he fought him like after Megatron beat up some Prime. Autobots have booby trapped this room. Fools! Wait, are you calling us fools or the Autobots fools? Because I'm not getting the sense that you respect me. Silence! <laughs> <laughs> now you realize That's that, exactly Skywarp? What I'm talking about. I love you, man. I just love you, you dumb bot. Okay, yeah, there's a power panel. There's the first one. I'm looking, trying to get the second one up there. There. That's weird. Hey, what the? Is that an overshield? It is. I'll be damned. I never knew that was there. I just normally sped through this place. There it is. Hmm. Perfect. Now, get these there we go. Let's uh, get this Energon Bridge active. Skywarp is stupid. I mean, that's why he's got a teleporter. Thundercracker. Yeah, Thundercracker is definitely smarter than he looks, but he ain't leadership material. That's a problem. I mean, even in the comics, uh, not, not the comic, well, the comics, well, and the novels, they established that if he wanted to, if he had, like, the backbone, uh, Thundercracker would leave the would leave the Decepticon, would leave Starscream. Which, yeah, I kind of wish that happened. The scale. Then close. The Energon bridge or at the very least, just leave the war entirely. He the could just... Granted, it would be machine. hard to, but... He could at least try to denounce and be, denounce either side and become a nail. Oh, for those who don't know what a nail is, it's an acronym in the comics for Non-Aligned Indigenous Life Forms. Basically, Transformers who didn't choose a side during the war. Okay. Precisely what I was afraid of. Cybertron is trying to purge itself of contamination. What contamination? He means us, you idiot. Quit blabbing and destroy this nuisance. That's one battery. That's two. Okay, there. That's retracted. And here comes the Energon field. Whoop! Ah. Move, move, move. Moving, I'm moving. Wait, what, why haven't I said about Starscream in a novel, at least? Oh yeah, he was a bodyguard for Sentinel Prime. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, I, I'd like to know what his record was. Seriously, bodyguard him? Must have been competent at one point. Let me tell. Yeah, he was the commander of the Seeker Armada, so of course. But still. Granted, from what I heard, uh, Sentinel Prime, his time was long past. Is 
can't leave. Oh, oh, too close, too close. Starscream, what is taking I mean, so long? everything indicated that, Star that Sentinel, Sentinel was a decent prime. But eventually, as time went on, H got to him and he just fucked out. I became weakened, I mean, to the point where Starscream betrayed him. Yeah, you think it's common, but... Hmm. Seem? It did seem like he was just a shadow of his former self. Especially with the guild. The guild matters and everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, Star Cybertron, back before the war, they had a very, very rigid cattle system. In which, when you emerge from the all from the well of Allspark, depending on your yeah, depending on your old form, will depend on what kind of job you've got, and depending on the job you get, will depend will depend on whether you get a name or not. So yeah, Megatron. In fact, Megatron never had a name. He got a nickname as D16, which is the area he worked at back in the mines. Yeah, he was a miner. Of course, he eventually rose to stardom and fame during the gladiatorial pits of Kaon. Gladiatorial battles are illegal, of course, but hey, it keeps the people entertained. He called himself originally Megatronus. For those of you who've seen Transformers Prime, you pretty much know the story. Uh, but then, the thanks to the fan, because of fans, uh, they shortened his name to Megatron. He, he just owned it. And so, yeah, eventually he started. Pre Megatron started preaching about freedom, and Starscream somehow joined in on it. Ah, crud. Oop. Oh, nope, I destroyed the, the core. With this, this will destroy the core and end this part of the Let's Play. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta get the hell out of here. Wait, oh, shit! For the might of Starscream. Star Look, stop gloating and start eyes. flying, Starscream. I don't want to get swallowed up by Dark Energon. Ah, damn it. I gotta really learn to use this. Oh, that trick! That I never, I never mastered that. Okay, there we go. Yep, this will end part four of my let's play of Transforming Wolf Cybertron, uh, where we activate the Energon Bridge and pretty much infect him with Dark Energon. Join me again for part five. Uh, let's cut scene play out. Till then, this is Mecha Sun signing out. Station Starscream. Surely you mean mine. I see you have finally succeeded in the simple task I gave you. Perhaps you're not as worthless as I thought. Report back to base at once. All systems online. Dark Energon, manufacturing at optimal efficiency. Now I can introduce Dark Energon into the planet's core. And as it spreads throughout Cybertron, my power shall travel with it. Entrance to the planet core is heavily shielded behind the Omega Gate. I will acquire the key. We launch a full-scale assault on Iacon immediately and wipe Zeta Prime and his pathetic Autobots off the face of the planet!